The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, Tiger Technicians Hour. This is the 6th of April, Wednesday, and we're looking at the Dow down 284 at 34,358. Uh, this is going to be a very important week in the sense that we've got some tidal changes, and let's go through uh, everything one at a time. You had that buy signal to buy mode in the in the uh, Dow daily. It went to the PT. That's the obligation of the Chapman Wave methodology. Let me just show you here. So you try to identify the lowest low bar, and then you count each successively higher peak, alphabetized all the way through G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. doesn't have to, but that's where you raise your foot off the accelerator, hover over the break, and see how the next couple of bars Act. It doesn't matter what time frame. So in this particular instance, we've gone now below the 200 period moving average, which was support, was resistance, now support. And that's going to be very important. The day is young. Anything can happen. We're still looking at those monthly charts and the Dow, the S&P, et cetera. But most importantly, we have to go to the shorter term, which is the Dow. And the Dow has completed the buy mode to a D. It can go higher, but this is where you got to be careful. And in fact, we have pulled back. Looking at the S&P, also made that fourth highest peak, peak D. I just type in the wrong place. Always do that right here. Okay, there it is. The S&P is trading down 61 points at 44.63. It is holding the 50 period moving average. It's gone underneath the um, 14 period exponential moving average. The green nine is still way above the 14. That's a good sign. Well, it's a good sign if you're talking about strength. It's a bad sign if it says, wait a minute, it still has to cross negative. And if it's going to go negative, then the S&P will test the 200 period moving average uh, at 44.06. Probably has to um, see if we can hold the 44.30s. And that's going to be an important thing because the MACD hasn't crossed negative yet, but it looks like it will. Stochastics under 80%. On balance volume is just okay. And the relative strength is weakening. So we don't want to even talk about the weekly and monthly yet. Let's see how this week goes just in terms of the daily chart. We've got a buy mode. Um, Going to the D, the QQQ, I was sure that that peak B would see some kind of a pullback and then just a modest new high, uh, recovery high above 371.83 for a leg C and maybe even a D. Nope. We had that fantastic day on Monday. On Monday, a horrible day yesterday and a continuation of the horrible action. And that could be a, a failure pattern. It's way under all the moving averages. But the MACD is still good and stochastic uh, is a weak. It's just under 80 percent to 79. On balance volume is terrible in the daily chart. And the 9 is still way above the 14. If that's going to go negative, it would probably have to go to the 342, 343 level to see the 9 cross negative and confirm a, a, a sell signal to sell mode in the in the uh, uh, direction and you're looking at the IWM a lousy action went to a peak D at the 200 period moving average that's how important these 200 period moving averages can be especially when it's resistance or support resistance right here and now we've gone from the 212 level to 199 uh, down four points today alone down four wow, that's down two percent uh, that's one of the bigger losers in terms of the percentages. Now, this is going to be important. Look, the semiconductor index, horrible action. Um, it rallied quite nicely above the 200 period moving average, then plummeted down. It's trading at 250 now. Just a week ago, it was at the 282 area. It's down $8 at, two, uh, at 250. Not good action. I'd be worried about this. And as a big market participant, remember, I talk about semiconductors as the oil mechanism for the economy just as in the 1900s and uh, going into the 2000s oil was so important it's still obviously is really important but the semiconductors have got equal weighting as far as i'm concerned just about everything uh, that can move at all uses uh, semiconductor 
chips and uh, pre pretty much everything, everything that we look at is uh, dictated through the uh, semiconductors. So this is a very important moment, and I suspect that at some point when they finally get their act together, we'll have a problem because why? Because the um, there'll be a glut. All these uh, fabs that are going to be opening sometime this year and early next year. All right, let's do a couple of things. What I wanted to do was to show you that the TLT is trying to rally off the low today, but it went to 127.49. I've been talking about this for some time. Let's just go through these things one at a time. Look, the TNX, the 10-year Treasury note yield. Remember this pattern? The big cup pattern that actually looks like a bowl and within it it can have a whole bunch of cups well the high that was made sometime in 2019 uh, about in the 27 28 area that's 2.8 um, saw a, a, a real a big plummet down to the low that was made in March of 2020 that's the, when the market made its uh, huge turnaround to the upside May, March the 23rd um, Three dollars and ninety-eight. Sorry, one. Yeah, three point nine eight. So it goes down to three point nine eight. That's point three nine eight in in reality, and then it rallies back. And I had this left side, right side price time match. This is what I'm going to be showing patterns like this in my webinar coming up. How do you use them? How can you use them in a short time frame? How can you use them? Let's just go to this quickly just to show you something. I used the same pattern of. Um, of a decline with a measured move down and it did that it did that in a long period of time since uh, one o'clock uh, this no, one o'clock yesterday all the way through the evening in the 10 minute e mini chart finally broke down and retested it about five times uh, at seven o'clock this morning tried to rally and then went to a lower low announced in leg g maybe a trough g some kind of a bounce coming very soon we'll see but these patterns are what i'll be talking about in my webinar uh, for opening call subscribers. And look what happened. We've gone to a leg D. Remember D is where we start to, uh, as long as the technicals are in place, you can keep counting alphabetically. But D is where you raise your foot off the accelerator for a moment just to see what's going to happen in the next two, three bars. Well, we're in leg D in the weekly chart, a high of 26.41. Uh, is that today? Yep, 26.41 is the high so far this week. And the, the level that we were looking at to start the measured move was back in January of 2019 at about 27.99, 2.799. And here we are. Uh, and that was 19, so that's three years. And look where we are. Gone to a leg D after a big ball formation. Now, the trouble is with the ball formation, anyone remember the XAU chart from 2000? Where it was making this gold was making this incredible uh, ball formation, and then broke out and had almost like you could have taken this and raised it vertically. It was such a big move to the upside. I just hope that we're not looking at rates doing the same thing right now. There's a lot of resistance. The next resistance is at uh, 30, 32.48, 3.248. Back in October of 2018. So we'll go one step at a time. All I'm saying is that. We've got to take this very seriously. And then I'll talk about a couple of things that came up about um, what are we looking at based on the Chamberlain methodology for the year. And that's what the uh, webinar will be about. Can they be utilized? Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, just to show you a little bit of something here, the techniques that I'll be talking about on uh, Wednesday night, the 13th, April 13th, my webinar for subscribers to my opening call. It'll be on um, Discord. Uh, so uh, sign up a little early if you haven't been there before, just so you can practice a little bit to get it. It's really very easy if I was able to do it. I'm sure other people will be able to do it easily. So we're looking at just the one-minute chart of the ES Mini. Uh, this is the S&P. Uh, there's a price time move that says that by uh, 10.22, what are we at now? By 10.18 uh, or earlier, there should be a test of the left side high of the 958 and that is at 40 44.70.25 uh we're at 44.66 uh, right now so this is a bit of a way to go and we'll see what happens all right we'll just put that in and we'll talk about it when the time comes so here we go um in the meantime back at the ranch these are the things i want to look at look at same price time as that i was talking about um uh, in the uh tlt and the TBT, that's the inverse, that's, a, that's the 10-year yield, looks very much the same. Look, here's the weekly chart. Here's the weekly chart, I'll open it up. There it is. You've got from 22.60 on the left side back in about uh, March, peak D in the weekly chart, that's the inverse of the TLT. Goes down to 15.53, running in leg D, and today's high is 22.29. So a couple, of, just a 30, 30 cents or so off the uh, the high that we were targeting, and it actually has about a week or so to go in this particular pattern. Uh, most importantly, what we're looking at is that yields have been going higher. As I said before, the the bond market has basically done the work for the Fed. All they have to do is formalize it and say, yep, now that's it. So therefore, we have to play catch up, maybe 50 cents they talk about. I think as soon as, remember the market, everyone says, oh, the market hates the unknown. I say every single day the market, there's an unknown. The market hates the unknown about the unknown. You move it once, yeah, you're once removed and you've got a problem. 
And that's really what we're looking at. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're very close to seeing some kind of just a kind of a relief rally in the uh, yields so that there's some kind of a pullback. I, I didn't do this. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to go there. But just I got a question about it, uh, a statement about the um, yields saying, uh, where was it? Let me just try to find it here. Okay, I can find it. It is at... The cat's been let out of the cage. Uh, the rate increase is coming today. All the insiders know it. Try to understand the TB, uh, TBT. Yep, we're talking about that. So look what happened. Remember, I was amazed yesterday that I'd seen the five-year scream, not climb over the 30-year the yield. The five-year, why would you even bother with a 30-year yield where you can get even better in a five-year without the same time risk? Well, today it went above the 2644 level. It went to 2679. 2.79. This is the five-year. And look what it's done. Finally, Wood, the iShares Global and Timber Forestry ETF is pulling back. It's within that big room. Long rectangle, narrow rectangle can stay um, in, in the range longer than your patience. But look what happened to the HGX, the Philadelphia Housing Index. Plummets underneath the, the base of support is down 8 at 395. So this is really important. All right, let's get out of this. So this, the white is the 30-year the yield. The brown, which is completely covered, is the 10-year yield. And the cyan is the 5-year FVX uh, yield. Ay, ay, ay. That is a big breakout. Okay, close the workspace. Yes to all. And now look at this. The IYT. The IYT. This is the I Shares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund. Just too many words. Made the lowercase h upside down. So that's the Y, the reverse Y. What do I mean by that? But in the Chapman methodology, what we do is we look for three basic patterns. Straight line, up or down. Look, there's a straight line down. Uh, then a cup formation or an arch formation or a combination. When it is the H pattern that takes out the left side low, that's the dreaded H. It can go a lot lower. It could even turn into an H that goes to a lowercase m pattern. Same with the reverse Y. This cup could have a second cup so that you get... It took me so many years to finally figure out that um, W is really a double, D-O-U, B-L-E, U, the letter U. I mean, I used to just say W, right? All of a sudden, one day I say, hey, there's a double. It looks like two U's. That's a, oh, that's a double U. And that's exactly what we're looking at here. There's your double U. All right. And if you look at the gold contract, so that's the iShares transportation average. Went to a peak E in the 276 area. Whoosh, down to 244. Just alone today is down 2.7%, down seven points at 244. That to me is, is serious stuff. Uh, and now I'm going to just go to a couple of other things and then I'll go to what I wanted to talk about was IYT. And I was about to do something. And uh, yes, gold. So gold right now is, uh, it's up four at 1931. And this, the, the reverse, this is the H pattern that is going to a lowercase m pattern. Huge move, spiraled up and, and um, Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down pattern. Looks like an uppercase A. 2078 uh, was the um, August the 8th, sorry, March the 8th high. And it plummets down to the 1894-ish area. And now it's just bouncing, and it's just stuck in this range, high level. In this case, it's a low-level consolidation, considering where it came from. But I'm really looking at the weekly chart. And these rectangle formations, it's just amazing how it works. The rectangle formation that goes for a long time, it's so powerful that when the price eventually spikes above it, there's a pullback. We saw that in LAC, which we had on just a, a small portion. Um, and this is, uh, where, where are we? This is LAC, is Lithium America, America's corpora uh, corporation, trading at 33.27 down $1.36. It went to our, our peak D that we were looking for. And yesterday's reversal was really sharp. And look what happened. You got your cup formation 
double top 4156 <clears throat> back in uh, December, the week of the third of 2021 at 4156, drops sharply down to 2278, January 28th, and then screams back up three days ago. It hits what? 40.39. It is incredible how many times we've seen these double top patterns in the cup formation pull back very sharply. A uh, question came in just a moment ago. I'll get to it. I think it's very appropriate. Exxon Mobil. Uh, yep, it's a nice session today, but it made that peak D. Remember, fourth highest peak, peak D in the Chapman wave. Got to be careful. And what happened is at 91.70, was it? Uh, 91.51 on the 8th of March, it tumbles down. This is the Eiffel pattern. Eiffel pattern. This is the uh, uppercase A, and it comes down and hits about the 75, 76 area, and it rallies nicely. And now it too is stuck in a range. So this is saying to me, if you look at crude oil making the arch formation, that dreaded H pattern, I think all these commodities are in a very big digestive phase, and that's going to be really important. I'll be back in a moment. We want to look at uh, uh, deer. Spade the peak in is pulling back question about the rectangle. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. So, DEA is what we're looking at. DE trading down 279 at 410.92. I, I must say that for subscribers, we are long uh, the uh, DEA. Uh, 
so this is really important because it hit 437.98 in leg D. Then it made a peak D with a gap down. That was when all the commodities suddenly had a little bit of a, uh, a woozy session. And then it made a trough A, trough B, and now it's in a leg C to the downside. I'm watching it closely because the pattern that I've been looking at for so long, for a year and a half, where sideways rectangle moves mean, especially at highs, that if it breaks to the upside, there's just a really good chance that it's going to come back into the rectangle. I'm watching this closely because deer has to do with the reality of what's going on right now. And with tractors and, and really mostly, if we can think of it as a very much agricultural phenomenon right now, uh, farm equipment, that sort of thing, and with what's going on in the Ukraine, the breadbasket of the world, or at least the breadbasket of, of many, many countries, uh, what we're looking at is, dear, maybe it's supply problems, maybe it's something else. We're really watching this closely because if at any point deer fills in the gap, um, and that is the gap from the low of the 28th of March, low of 427.36, and the next day's high of 4... 09, so no, 424.49, 4, um, if it fills that in at any point in the next week or two, that's going to suggest that it's in play, very much in play, and that it should not just retest the 437 level, it could go to the 442. If, on the other hand, it closes any day in the next week under 400, let's call it 398, that just says, you know what, back into the range again, and it's nothing nothing to see here, folks. So this is, for me, an important thing. Caterpillar, on the other hand, is more United States um, Caterpillar heavy-duty equipment. That's more infrastructure, etc. So I think it's a different, it has a little bit of a different chart pattern, and there's a different implication. Question came in again about Moz, M-O-S, and I would said um, Moz is in his trading band, is holding very nicely. The key is going to be um, now, what was the question that you were in it? Should you take a little bit off? And now I can't recall exactly trying to go and make that leg D in the weekly. Oh, oh, that's right. You had said the question in the den was, would it make the leg D in the weekly chart? And my answer was yes. Mosaic Company Phosphate Fertilizers. I know what I would said is this is in the sweet spot of what we're looking at now. As I said, the breadbasket uh, of uh, many countries around it, uh, that's in U Ukraine. And uh, fertilizers, I think, is really imperative to keep an eye on. So this is going to leg D. This is a brand new leg D in the daily chart. Let me type that in, leg D. Now, the, the, the whole thing about this V-shaped pattern is that in the rectangle, the formula that I have is that within a shorter time frame, Let's just see if we've got that right here. There should be, if the stair step moves to the upside and hasn't taken out the low within two or three bars, then you can have a stair step move that takes you to peak A, peak B, peak C, and then a peak D. Just under, right on, or just above the previous high. Previous high in Mosaic uh, was back in March, March the 25th at 7150. And the 120-minute chart made a peak A, a peak B, a peak C, pulls back, pulls back, and it goes to D, E, and F. It's in leg F right now with a high of 72.16. So this is interesting. This is only this is a leg D in the overall buy. And this is something chart formations tend to, for me, I don't go looking for the pattern. I let the pattern look, look at me and say, hey, I've done this. Eight times out of ten or seven times out of ten, don't you think I'm worth following in greater detail? And this is the pattern that I'm looking at. When very quickly there's a sharp pullback from, say, a peak D, and then there's a series of uh, legs and a cup formation that tries to tackle the previous high and then decisively takes it out, it's very hard sometimes. Out of all the Chapman Wave notations, the one thing that I've always found difficulty with, although I've been able to identify it many times uh, over the last year and a half, but it took a lot of time, a lot of effort. I would normally have to go back and say, oh, 
that was a, an up arrow. It didn't look like it at the time, but this is absolutely the start of a new move, and that's the low that was formed in Mosaic on the 9th of, August, of March at 52.90. That becomes peak A. That is E, F. You can go alphabetically, but that's F slash C because the MACD and stochastic are still very strong. Finally got your D. So that is the up arrow, and now we've gotten where? To just above the previous high of 71.50, today's high is 72.16, and we're going to be watching it. It avoided the. I always put the type the two uh, patterns in because they're fighting patterns. One is the arch, and the other is the V-shaped pattern. Now we're going to see because uh, mosaic, fabulous action price-wise. The technicals, the MACD, is is weak. Is trying to rally. Stochastic's weak at 72 percent. On balance volume daily is really strong, but it's the nine period which just it didn't even notice the dip. The nine stayed way above the 14. That is fantastic action. And this leg D says, "All right, now you're going to be watching because of the rule of thumb. The left side, you've taken it out by a fraction. How does it act in the next two days? Leg D finally in the weekly, leg D in the monthly. And if you're looking at the same thing I was talking about before, the left side, right side price tie match going from the 89.74 high of the February 2011 plummets down to $6.50 in March 2020. What's the high so far? 72.16. So that's only taking you to the lower resistance level that I did this price time match, which is right. This is the week. In fact, right there, leg D is occurring in this very week. And that was 74.31. And we're only at 72.16. We just uh, just un over. No. Yeah, a little over two points below that right now. Um, but if that's taken out, 89.74 will be the bigger move for the Mosaic company based on the monthly chart. Once upon a time in September 2008, it 163.23. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that are really important in this particular phase. I'll be talking about it in my webinar coming up Wednesday week. Uh, that's today week. Today week, oh, time flies, the, the 13th. And um, most importantly, do these commodities stay elevated? Does the XLE stay elevated? That is the S&P Select Energy Spider Fund. Well, it's in the large rectangle. It's come from 80.22 on the 8th of August down to the low around about the uh, 13th or 14th of uh, March. And then it goes peak A, peak B, and now it's got a little mini peak A, peak B underneath that. And basically this looks, the pattern that says, I'm just in a range, I'm stuck for a moment, I haven't broken out, and I, my weekly chart is still very, very strong. Stochastic at 88%, Yank is still very strong. Nine way above the 14, and the monthly chart is the same thing. So energy is in play, and it's going to be in play for a good while to come. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman dials down 246. See you in a moment. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. How about, I was asked about the SPLV, Invesco. S&P 500 low volatility ETF. It's up 29 cents today. It's up 43.43% uh, at 67.81, holding really nicely after making a peak E. So I was asked about this some time ago. I, I completely forgot to follow it. This is um, really what a nice vehicle. Now, let me just do this. That's a peak A, B, C. It did make a D back in December, I believe it was. And it did pull back very sharply, uh, and it went from a uh, sixty-eight point eight six down to a low of the week of twenty-fifth of Feb, sixty-one twelve, and now it's trading up. Yesterday it hit sixty-eight, sixty-eight seventeen. Wow, this is a really nice vehicle, uh, coded nice, uh, nice, uh, good eye. All I can say is, yeah, this is holding very well. Um, what will be really important is if all week it does not take out the low of the 4th of April, 66.91, which is only a dollar less than a dollar lower than where we are. But in fact, it closes any any time between now and Friday above 68.17, the high of yesterday. That'll suggest there's a good chance that over a period of a couple of weeks, it's going to retest that high that was made on the uh, December, the week of December the 31st at 68.86. Let me just type that in. Yeah, I like that. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on this as well because it's already had a huge move from 61 to 67. That's a 10% gain. That's a, that's really a more. It's about 11% gain. Plus, I, I believe this should be a, a dividend as well. So I, I, just keep it in mind. I'm going to keep it in mind myself. Let me just write that down in case I forget. SPLV. All right, here's another one that I want to look at. Mentioned in the den was a stock that periodically I would look at. Um, why? Because uh, the... This is BTAI. I don't even know what they do. I do know it's a biotech, BioXL, Therapeutics, Inc., biotech area. <clears throat> One of the things is I thought we've got a couple of people in the den, not a couple, a lot of people that know a particular sector very well or stocks very well. And Dan often talks about the biotechs, and this is one of those that he's been following. And I thought uh, I'd just keep it on my, on my list here because um, – the thing about the Chapman Wave methodology is that even though when you're talking about biotechs, anything can happen at any point. They can be absolutely dormant, doing nothing for weeks, 
and then suddenly you got news about an FDA level two or level three, whatever it is, tests are coming up and uh, the stock is just doing, you know, it's like those dogs. Um, I, my mother-in-law had this dog years ago. She was, it was a little white one, little, some, some, some called it bingo. And um, it would just lie there, do nothing, nothing for hours. And then suddenly it would just, it would jump up, scare the day out said everybody, and run up and down the uh, passage, a long passage, which was uh, this parquet flooring, and it would slip and slide. It would go right into the door and then turn around. You know how swimmers, when they're doing the race, and they flip over. I, I was never able to master that. And, and reverse course. This is what the dog did, except it had to hit the door to do it. Well, this is the same thing with biotechs. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then all of a sudden, kaboom. So I did this work. did a peak E back in November of 2021. 20, uh, I came tumbling down from the 36-ish area to 14.32. And then the fascination with me was the pattern that I keep talking about, which is the dreaded H, if a successful H and retests, this way it made a 14.32 low in January of this year, BTAI is a symbol. It goes to a peak B, pulls back, goes to peak C minus because it pulls back. And, oh, that's still a C. And then it goes to 14.44. And that was in March, about the 14th or 15th. And then it rallies up to peak E. So this is very interesting because this is exactly in that same biotech area where nothing, nothing, nothing. Look, just hanging around in the 15th. And then whoosh, it goes up to the 23s. And, and then four points down from 23. I mean, that's a huge decline, right? Four points down in a few days, and today it has a low of 18.96 and a high of 21.84. I, I, I don't know if there was any news, anything like that, but this is just typical of uh, of uh, some kind of a biotech stock. It made that peak D. What are we always looking for? Made a peak D in the weekly back in um, November, and then made a peak D in the monthly, and that was a high back in 2020, I believe it was. That was 2020 in the 70 area. 70, this is July of 2020, it goes to 71.50. I mean, really, down to 14, and now it's trying to come back. So I just wanted to mention, so a question came up about the Chapman Wave, and it was more a statement than anything else. Someone who's followed followed me for years and years and years. Um, Hi, Basil, seems crystal clear to me now, the Chapman Wave is a momentum-driven technical tool that relies on a common foundation of economic policies in order to achieve a complete bi-mode letter designation, A through G. So number one is, um, you're absolutely correct. It's a momentum base. I essentially grade each successively higher peak. Yes, and troughs. I use the peaks on the upside a lot more than the troughs on the downside because the troughs on the downside, for some reason, the technical tools that are used, like the MACD and Stochastic, give really good, uh, um, look at this, look at the way, the on-balance volume, look at this low right here, bam. Does that coincide or does that coincide with the most recent low in BTAI? And that's the low of 14.44 on the 15th of March. And look at the on-balance volume turnaround. Stochastic within a day, within two days is turning around. So yes, I use momentum. But I have to make it first before I go on. Absolutely, the notation is built on higher highs and lower lows. Therefore, it is an oscillation and it's based because it's moving from a zero line to a higher line or a zero and down. I, I don't know where the zero line would be, but I'm just saying because it can go up and down, it can never go below zero itself, the actual price that I'm following. But once it's on its way, it can oscillate like a sine wave up and down. It's momentum based, number one. Number two is the objective is to go from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode which says there should be at least four higher peaks, number one. Oh, and that's number two. Number three is in the different time frames. Look, here's the daily time frame. Doesn't this look really exciting in the daily? If you look at the weekly, you say, oh, yeah, that's good. It's not great. It's way below the high that was made back in the, 30, in the 30s. Um, it got cut in half. And now, look, it's only at 20. Um, and if you look at the month, you say, good grief, that looks like a biotech stock. 
By the way, it made that double top and then plunged to the downside. It looks like it has to restart. I'm only using this as an example. I have no position in the BTA, BTAI. Uh, by Excel Therapeutics, but it came up and I thought I'd follow it because I'd love to see how fundamentals can you how the technicals and the, oscill and the oscillation of the fundamentals can come together and when they come together I'll be back in the moment Jackson, one thing we go down 256 and now for the Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. And sorry, I had a couple of callers. I just haven't got used to why. It's just that we've got so much going on now that I just didn't have a chance. I'm sorry, John. If you want to look at the IYT, that's the transport. I'll do it again tomorrow. I did a little bit of it. Let's go to Ella. I don't know if she's still on the line. Are you there, Adam? I don't know. All right. Well, she wanted to look at NIO. Um, that's NEO. I did quite a bit of work on NEO because I'm looking at these EVs, electric vehicles, and I suspect that at some point in the next uh, three to six weeks, 
we're going to suddenly have another flurry of the electric vehicles uh, based on many other factors but it's had a really nice move it's gone from the 1301 low of the 15th of March NIO is Neo Inc Chinese company electric cars vehicles it went to a peak D it's pulling back now what I'm going to say I don't know whether you're in, in the position I apologize for if you can call tomorrow I'll appreciate it but right now what I'm looking at is it's made that peak D it's pulling back a little bit today it is down 4% but it's at 21 59. It's gone from 67 uh, back in January or so or December of last year um, and it's plummeted down to the 13 area. This is a huge move. 23, uh, it went up to 23 at peak D. I suggest it's going to digest gains. I personally want to look at it again. I think it's trying to establish some kind of a base and if it can hold 20 all the way through the rest of the week. And in fact, Hold 20, but even get into the gap, some of the gap, get into the 22, 10 area, just a little higher, 50, 60 cents. That's going to say it's trying to form some kind of a base to at least establish some kind of more intermediate term rally. It doesn't look good at all in the daily, uh, in the weekly or the monthly chart, but I'm w wanting to see if some of these EV stocks. I mean, Tesla's the boss. That's, there's no question about it. And Tesla has gone to be another big T. So let's have a look at this together and please again I apologize and uh, we'll see what happens over the, what happens after the Fed comes in today. This is a critical day in terms of Fed speed. Uh, say to you, Galarian, it's a great program. Yeah, check out my opening.